Hello everybody, in this session we're going to talk about creating a new feature class and adding fields to your new feature class. So I've got a new project open, I've got my default uh, geodatabase ready to go, it's completely empty but I'm going to add my first new feature class. So I'm going to right click on my geodatabase and select new and say feature class. I will give my feature class a name, uh, you'll have to decide what it is you're uh, collecting or registering and in this case I'm going to uh, be using fire hydrants for this particular feature class and you can give it an alias if you like where you can have spaces and special characters if you so choose and also don't forget to select the type you can be one of these different options uh, in this case I'm going to be collecting points if you plan on storing 3d data then turn on your Z values uh, if it's going to be used in a network uh, which it, this won't, so I will uncheck that. Uh, select next, and here's where you can add in your fields. So for each field, uh, you're going to click a, a, a new row here and uh, give it the, the type of attributes you'd like to store for your new feature class. So in this case, I might want to store the size of that uh, fire hydrant, which might be a double. So a text type uh, won't work for this. Well, it will work, but it's better to use a uh, data type that matches the actual uh, object uh, or attribute. And uh, I might also want to uh, collect uh, or store something like uh, capacity or flow rate. And this might also be a uh, double as well, or maybe a long integer, and perhaps maybe the color of the fire hydrant, which in this case will be text. So when you're done that, uh, you can take a look down at the bottom and you can decide whether or not you want uh, these to be uh, allowed to be empty if you want. If you don't, you want to force them to the user to actually fill in these cells, then you can set that to no. Um, if you're okay with this, then select next. You can pick uh, a coordinate system for your uh, new feature class. And in this case, I'm just going to pick a 3TM system for mine. Uh, so I'll take a look at the appropriate coordinate system, click next, and then uh, the tolerance we can uh, zoom through, the same with the resolution, and uh, select finish. And you'll see that uh, your new feature class will be built inside your new geodatabase. And uh, if you expand it out there, it should be, if you don't see it there, right click and select refresh, and give it a refresh and it should show up. So when you right click on your new fire hydrant, Go to the design section and check your fields and make sure that uh, all the fields that you created uh, were in fact uh, stored and it looks like they're all there. And here you can make any changes if you want as long as there's no uh, data in any of these uh, records or there's no data being stored in this feature class, you can change the data type. Once you store data in that uh, new feature class, you will not be able to change any of these attributes. Uh, so that's creating fields and inside your new feature class. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.